And Karen, could you talk some more about not only the energy requirements, but the water requirements of these huge data centers that are essence, in essence the backbone of, uh, of this uh, uh, widening uh, industry? Absolutely, I'll give you two stats on both the energy and the water. When talking about the energy demand, McKinsey recently came out with a report that said in the next five years, based on the current pace of AI computational infrastructure expansion, we would need to put as much energy on the global grid as what is consumed by two to six times the energy consumed annually by the state of California. And that will mostly be serviced by fossil fuels. We're already seeing reporting of uh, coal plants with their lives being extended. They were supposed to retire, but now they cannot to support the status center development. We are seeing methane gas turbines, unlicensed ones, being popped up to uh, service these data centers as well. From a fresh water perspective, these data centers need to be trained on fresh water. They cannot be trained on any other type of water because it can corrode the equipment, it can lead to bacterial growth, and most of the time, it actually taps directly into a public drinking water supply because that is the infrastructure that has been laid to deliver this clean, fresh water to different businesses, to different homes. And Bloomberg recently had an analysis where they looked at the expansion of these data centers around the world, and two-thirds of them are being placed in water scarce areas. So they're being placed in communities that do not have access to fresh water. So it's not just the total amount of fresh water that we need to be concerned about, but actually the distribution of this infrastructure around the world.